This video is all about enabling a transparent header on your WordPress site. In the last video, we installed this template. We use a Spectra plugin to put in a nice template, but a lot of these templates use transparent headers. So I figured I'd round out this template tutorial by doing a uh, transparent header real quick. Uh, if you want to know how to put in this template, I will leave a link in the description. So to get started, you need a theme that has a transparent header option. The theme that I'm using is Astra, A-S-T-R-A. So once you have a theme that has a transparent header, and this one also has a semi-transparent header and a regular header that can have any background color. So that's why I like this one. But anyway, once you get that, go to your page and then edit the page. And if you're using the Astra theme, we'll just click the Astra icon in the top right. And then advanced settings, transparent header enabled. Return to post, save it. Now we've, uh, now we've applied the transparent header to this individual page. And if you just have a simple site with some pages, I would just enable them page by page and leave the regular header as the default header, like for your blog page. Now we can visit the site, see what it looks like. And you see it's applying the transparent header, but you can't see it that well. So let's fix that. Go to the customizer, dashboard, appearance, customize. Go to the header builder and these are your uh, settings for your regular header to get to the transparent header settings you got to click the link now we're adjusting the transparent header so there are two headers you have to keep track of now you you could enable it on the entire site but i'm just going to um, do it individually page by page so i leave that off change the logo for the transparent header I went to place it and I adjusted the logo so you could see it better on a transparent header. If you want to know how to do a, an easy logo, a really nice logo, it's placeit.net. I got a link in the description. So now we got the logo and now we got to do the menu color. So design, we're still on transparent header, design, menu color, I'm going to adjust that a little lighter okay so we've adjusted the logo in the menu for the transparent header make sure at the very bottom behind my camera you test it on every screen so click that mobile screen and you see it's a mess because I would have to edit this page to push the text down maybe uh, put more padding at the top so make sure you test all of the um, both menus on all the screens and then um, you also can do a I wanted to show the uh, semi transparent header which is um, under transparent header still design background overlay pick a color and then um, Oh, and then adjust the opacity right below the uh, rainbow color slider. There's an opacity slider. So you can go ahead and make it a little bit more visible. Or you, could, you could just do like a little subtle thing, you know, just so that it adds a little bit to it. But it's totally up to you. Go ahead and publish that. And that's it. I would just enable them page by page um, so that your blog page will keep the regular header. And then uh, keep in mind that you might have to get a new logo and adjust the heading. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, let the algorithm know and I will see you next time.